Hello, all you fellow heretics. This is Heretic Plus, and I'm here chilling it with, with my friend Justin. Say hi, Justin. Hey, everybody. And we are back here. It is a wonderful Sunday. I don't know that yet. It's actually a wonderful Thursday right now, but it will, will be Sunday when this goes up. And we are here playing Final Fantasy IX mm, with full voice action. So we are here in the steeple in Alexandria. We went through all of the, uh, most of the intro stuff for the most part. Got some cool items. Got a whole bunch of crap. Got a dagger that kills mages. Yeah, pretty awesome. So we still don't have a name, but we're about to head up this ladder here. Puck, we're his slave. That's okay with us, though. Let's go. Ah! 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 Ha, ha. What the heck was that? Sorry oh. about that, Koopa. Oh, yeah, you just... That's Koopo. He's a Moogle. Koopo. And this is slave number one. Try to get along, okay? Koopo, please to meet you. I'm sorry, I entered you in Moogle Diary. If you want to save game onto memory card, just ask us please. Koopo. And you can regain health if you have a tent. Koopo. You understand? I understand. Well, I can help, Koopo. Alright, time for some upward mobility! That's what she said. <laughs> hey, when you're doing a Koopa voice, lean towards the mic a little bit. Okay, that works. I love their voices, though. They are. <laughs> Koopo! Okay, come on up, slave! What a douchebag! Koopo, you here? Koopo, stick son. What's the cut up? You leaving, Koopo? Yeah, and this time I might be away for a long time. I'll miss you, Koopo. Now don't you worry. All right. Okay, Koopo. Well, I'm off. Take care. Oh, I'll say hi to Mosh in the castle for me. I love his outfit. It's hilarious. <laughs> he's got little scrolls and he's an educated Moogle. Yeah. Got the brains. Was that fr a friend of yours? That's Koopo. A very special one, Koopo. Hey, slave! I thought I ordered you up here. I swear that kid is gonna get thrown off a roof any second now, dude. <laughs> Vivi don't mess around. Vivi's a gangster. Yep. We haven't named him yet. I've been saying his name for the last yep. like, two, <laughs> I was five say. I'm Doesn't like... matter. Doesn't matter. We're all about spoilers here in Final Fantasy IX. All right, the play is gonna start if we don't hurry. We'll try not to spoil stuff, but you have to understand, guys, that we played this game so long, it doesn't even register that no one wouldn't know. <laughs> Come on, get over here. Let me guess. You're afraid of heights, aren't you? It's okay, just pretend you're on the ground. That only works up to a certain yeah, that, point. Yeah, that will not work. <laughs> ah. Come on already, we're running out of time. That boy. Toss it. Uh-oh, here we go again. Not again. Uh, don't worry, it won't fall. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I guess it fell. No point in worrying right now, right? I swear, if that... Mmm. That boy. I'm gonna push him off a ledge. Who hides their money on a roof? Do you know what I mean? I mean, I, I, I guess burglars wouldn't check yeah. up there. But it's almost like hiding it in a coffee pot and burying it. <laughs> like, <laughs> and burying it. <laughs> I don't even know your name. Yeah, well, if you haven't been listening to me for the last few minutes, his name is Vivi. Or Vivi. I call him Vivi. I like Vivi. Yeah. Kind of funny name. My name's Puck. Pleased to meet you. Now, Puck actually will become a pretty awesome character later in the game. But for right now, we're, we're just uh, on a date to go see a play. With Puck? With Puck. <laughs> Vivi. What up? Vivi's Horrible been in this country <laughs> for like half an hour, and he's already got a date to go see a play. The person that calls him his slave. Hey, you know what? Some people are into that. <laughs> Woo! We finally made it! After this wall, we'll be inside the castle. Come on, let's go! Time for some some awesome cutscenes. Mmm, Alexandria Castle in the moonlight. There's two moons, by the way. Did you notice that? I've noticed it before, but it's never really registered. Yeah, th there's a red one and a blue one, you know. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. All these nobles, and they don't know that it's these two kids sneaking around. We don't have chairs. Them. Wouldn't that be obvious? Yeah. We don't have seats. And our clothes are so different. 
<laughs> that that is Queen Brawn, and you're gonna love Justin's voice for her. But how did a fat blueberry like that give birth to that babelicious hunk of love? You know what I mean? Yeah, no. It doesn't happen. Mm, Steiner's like, this show's gonna be epic, man. <laughs> She'll be happy now. But she. I love the music here so much. Oh yeah. We have the most amazing band ever. I love this so much. Oh yeah, I would watch this play. I would too. Of course, we're the ones making it. That's true. That's true. We are. <laughs> so sad. Uh, gotta learn how to please your women, Steiner. Even with that big old sword, she's still unhappy. I listen to dancing. You know? I know. She's the only one up there having a good time. <laughs> I'm dancing. I'm, I'm dancing. dancing. <laughs> What's this? I'm leaking. I'm Dude, leaking. Clap trap from Borderlands is hilarious. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen. By the way, my Baku voice is the same thing as my Barrett voice from FF7. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight's performance is a story that takes place long, long ago. Our heroine, Princess Cornelia, is torn... By the way, that's a Final Fantasy 1 reference. If you play the first game, the town you go to is Cornelia. Is torn from her lover, Marcus. She attempts to flee the castle, only to be captured by her father, King Leo. And Marcus is the only one in the play who has his real name. Yeah. Everyone else has a stage name, I guess. But When our story begins, Marcus, having heard of this, crossed his swords with the king. And now, your royal majesty, Queen Braun, your highness, Princess Garnet, noble ladies and lords, and our rooftop viewers, Tantalus proudly presents I Want to Be Your Canary. This stuff just goes, remember? Yeah. So be ready. Bereft of father, bereft of mother, Marcus, thou hast lost even thy love. Fortune hath escaped thee. For what end shalt thou live? For the sake of our friend, let us bury our steel in the heart of the wretched King Leo. Aye! <laughs> Can you do two voices at once there? <laughs> Aye! Aye! <laughs> Oh, lightning strike. Dude, those are some great stage effects. Oh, yeah. Here we go, our first battle. We shall back thee, kinsman. Pray, sheathe thy sword. This villain is mine alone. Nay, kinsman, for I too have locked a brother to this game. What ho? Don't call us names. The dearest brother is one before the king. All the dead in my way will be crushed. Treacherous Leo, my kinsman suffering from being made. It's too fast. <laughs> Comparable pain. I love the music here yeah. so much. We like never get to hear it again, pretty much. But this has a great score. This entire game. Oh yeah, beautiful. I love that man. I'm just <laughs> jamming over here. If only. No, that would ruin it too. Okay, it so uh, we can't steal her on stage. Uh, SFX is stage effects. We can cast things like Badio. That's kind of like Meteor. We can cast uh, Poly Poly, I guess. I don't know how you pronounce that. There's nothing really to do. If, if you hit the henchmen even once, they'll run away. But yeah, they're just for show. They do nothing at all. They're just to make a good show for the crowd. Which we're all about. Oh, yeah. What's the point of mischief if you don't look good while doing it? <laughs> you know what I mean? We're going to steal the princess, but we're going to steal, steal her style. Yeah, yeah. steal her style. Kidnap, she did not steal. I wasted so much time casting those. Yeah. <laughs> they would have done it anyway, really. Alright, get him. Wow. He's so fast. Yeah, Sinna dies. Sinna absolutely sucks. Absolutely sucks. Baku should go on pretty quick too. We actually fight Baku in this game quite a few times. Mm -hmm. Four times. He's an interesting father figure. <laughs> I feel like he's like the cool uncle yeah. who always bought you the things that your parents didn't want you to have. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, kind of raised you in a way that is different than most people would agree on. Especially in a field of thieves. I, I bet it's exactly what you'd expect in the Guild of Thieves. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet, so we stuck the sword in his backside. Metaphorically speaking. Arg! That's... He's a pirate, guys. Thou hast not seen the last of me, Marcus! Come back! 
Out of the way, Blank. Oh no, he has his real name too. Ah, consider this, Zidane. If Princess Snyder were to marry Princess Cornelia, peace would reign over both their kingdoms. Tis foolishness. If all were so easy, why, none would suffer in this world. That line will come back later, guys. Three hours in line. Ha ha! Ha ha! And on we go. This part is so much fun. Oh. And I might do it more than one try. Basically, this is a sword fight that we, we have to Expect no quarter for me. You press the buttons as it goes, and try to get it as soon as when he says it as possible. And if you get all of, like, if you get 100, you, you get a moonstone. It's a really good item that gives you yeah. quite a few abilities. You will spend hours trying to get that, though. Like, you have to have precognition to grab that thing. So, but if you get 85 and up, you get also a good item, so we'll just end a good amount of money. Mm -hmm. So we'll just focus on that. If you don't mess up a single time, you'll get the 85 plus. Which... This is the second time in a week I've done this, or like fifth time actually, but second time playing the game, so I should be alright. Damn, we are beast. But this sword fight does not look realistic, does it? I mean, like, it looks good, but who would fight like this? Sorry for holding our breath viewers. Um, oh, I'm totally holding our breath. <laughs> I'm surprised I can talk like this and I haven't messed up yet. And yeah, uh, there it is, yeah. 100%. We shall finish this l Oh, that's your line. Yeah, we shall finish this later. Come back here! 89. 89. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. Quite impressed. No! That's good enough. 849 gil. And then also the item we'll get a little bit later, but uh, the item we get, of course, depends on how well we did, because I guess that's how how well her mood was, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> Finish changing Zidane. Yeah, with this helmet. Ugh, it kind of smells. What are you talking about? My helmet totally reeks. My armor's way too big, and my back's real itchy. The boots are wet. My gloves are all slimy. <laughs> There's cookie crumbs in my pocket. Crumbs in my pocket? Okay, I get the picture. You still have the package, right? Oh, Blank always has his package. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't screw up. <laughs> I know, Blank is one of my favorites of the thieves. Oh, yeah. Blank and Marcus I like a lot. Alright, first, I'll go pour some sleep potion into Princess Garnet's teacup. And I've got a special something for the lovely queen. That's what he said. <laughs> They're sleeping so soundly. Alexandria Castle. According to Recon, the royal seats should be right above these stairs. Got it. Uh oh, the scene where Marcus sneaks into Cornelia's chamber is about to start. Woo! <laughs> Go, Marcus! Yeah, man. <laughs> Let's get this over with before the finale, alright? Although, right? doesn't Ruby play? Yeah. <laughs> so, maybe not. <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> don't do it, Marcus! Don't do it! Don't do it! It's not worth it! <laughs> Don't turn in your man card for her. <laughs> All right, so we got some new stuff. Uh, go ahead and equip the Mage Matcher. Um, like I said in episode one, you learn all your abilities based on uh, ability points and items. Uh, the Mage Matcher teaches the same skill as the, the other dagger does, and it has more damage and teaches you something else. So there's no reason why not to equip that. Um, other than that, there's nothing really we want to do. It's not right now, so that's good. We won't have a chance to use it though for a little while, but uh, mm. go ahead and head up the stairs. Whoa! It's a white mage! Hmm, she sure is dressed funny. Um, would you please let me pass? <laughs> no, forget that. <laughs> Let's see. Is there something on my face? Oh, no, you see. I just thought maybe you're the one I've been waiting for all this time. Excuse me? You were waiting for me? It's like I'm making love to myself, Justin. <laughs> this is great. Yeah, I've dreamt of meeting you ever since I was born. Do you mock me? No, of course not. That shall take my leave of you. I get that all the time. Just a sec. Haven't we met before? No, I do not know you. Hmm. He likes what he sees. Maybe you're right. 
I never let anyone as pretty as you get away. Say, you wouldn't... Hey, what's going on, Zidane? I... Must go! Ah! Dude, Blank just got screwed, man. <laughs> Who the heck was that? Get up, Blank! That was Princess Garnet! What, are you serious? <laughs> so that's our first meeting with the lovely Princess of Destiny. Didn't go too well, did it? Didn't, well, I, I think it went fairly... That's b better than most of my first encounters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trouble, trouble are we in? I love you guys. This is terrible! Our heads Queen Brane will okay, have! Okay, these, these... It's Brane. Nah. Okay, yeah. these are like the court jesters. They serve kind of a more important role, but we, we won't find out about... We will find out about that later, but they're pretty much like twins, and they like say the same things at once, only one speaks like Yoda and one speaks normally. Hurry, we, we must, must hurry! <laughs> we are in trouble! Maybe here, let's try it a little bit. Um, this from now on, mm -hmm. I'll say the blue lives a little bit before you say yours. Okay. Because it's kind of confusing to hear both. Right. So. The right way, that is not. I know it is not the right way. Really? Do you? I really do. Wonder I sometimes do. But it, now is not the time to wonder. Hurry to Queen Braun. We Bron must hurry to Queen Braun. Hmm. I'll say it. So right. Too. That is not the right way. Not the right way, I know. Do you really? No, I really do. I really wonder sometimes. The, the time to wonder now is not. We must hurry and tell Her Majesty. Hurry to see Her Majesty, we must. We'll get the hang of that, guys. Yeah, <laughs> we'll eventually. At least they don't come on too much. Yeah. Your Majesty! See the Queen, we must! Her Majesty is busy. Come back later. <laughs> it's time for great. Is it an emergency? An emergency it is! A veritable emergency of terrible urgency! <laughs> <laughs> I love that line! That line is great! A veritable emergency of terrible urgency. Very well, I'll see what I can do. Very grateful we'll, we'll be. be! We'll be very... Yeah, uh, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> uh, curse that Beatrix! Always to try to one me up. One up me. Whatever. <laughs> so what exactly is the problem? Her Royal Highness! Princess Garnet! Is in, is in danger! I see. Wait right here. Dude, Beatrix is a babe, I swear. Mm -hmm. If she were real, or if I was pixelated, or any <laughs> combination of the two, I'd be all over that. No interruptions! Can't you see I'm watching the show? <laughs> Your Majesty, I'm afraid Princess Garnet has... Ah, uh, yes. She did leave her seat a while ago. Your Majesty, it seems that Princess Garnet has run off with the royal pendant. Well, of all the... What could she be thinking? General Beatrix. Your Majesty. And Captain, uh... How embarrassing. I know. <laughs> this is Steiner. He's basically very uptight. He's very serious about his job. He's the captain of the Knights of Pluto. And he's way too full of himself. Yeah. Round, round way too tight. Captain Steiner. Yes, Your Majesty. Go find Garnet. At once. Yes, Your Majesty. My queen. <laughs> but most of the characters in this game turn out to be pretty lovable. Yeah. Still love Prince all of them. Knights of Pluto! Assemble! I'll, I'll do their voices. Huh? Where is everybody? Captain, sir! All president accounted for, sir! What are you talking about? There's only two of you! Where are the other six? <laughs> Why, you useless good for nothings! <laughs> I bring orders from the Queen! Get dressed and go find Princess Garnet! Now, he doesn't know that they got jumped. So, what did he think they were doing in there? And they run out with their boxers and there's only two of them. <laughs> you ever think of that? <laughs> Alright, so the first thing you want to do, guys, is head up here back to where the Queen with her royal fat behind is sitting. And, and you know, like I said, depending on how well you did, uh, she'll give you a better gift. So, we got 89. So, we're gonna yeah, get take this. the silk shirt, which is awesome. It'll be very useful. You want to get this for a certain boss fight coming up. He can't equip it, but um, basically the awesome thing about the silk shirt is that it grants a 50% resistance to thunder, which will be very, very useful for a couple of bath b boss battles. Bass battles. <laughs> bass battles. Bass bottles. <laughs> and then you're, I'm playing Ocarina of Time again. I gotta yeah. catch fish in a bottle. <laughs> 
Actually, in my Ocarina of Time LP, I just became an adult. Oh, congratulations. So pretty big. Of course, now there's so much more to do. Oh, <laughs> there's so much more to do. <laughs> we're gonna head in here real quick and save. We had a problem with that. We had a little bit of a problem with that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're saving this time. Go ahead and... Let's... Let's uh, Crabble! Right, slot one. I don't know why this game wants to play in gray. It's so much better. Mm. So much better in blue. Are we in blue right now? Oh my goodness! We're not in blue! We're not in blue! We're not in classic! Oh no! Okay, we'll change this quickly, guys. Like I said, okay, firstly, put the battle speed on fast. This game is really slow battle speed. Mm. Be sure you do that. Oh, also equip a few of Tyner's abilities. He gets some really good abilities. Uh, right off Basically, that. bird killer, bug killer, beast killer. If you're fighting any of those things, you'll get like a 50% damage boost in your attacks, which will make him very killy. Oh yeah. Very killy indeed. So, and I believe Mosh has a Mognet. Mm-hmm. Mognet is a mail delivery system between Murgles. We can send and receive letters to and from Murgles in other locations. Krupo! But delivery has been very sporadic lately. I want mail, Krupo! So, sometimes if you talk to them again, they'll actually already have a letter, but mm -hmm. this one doesn't have anything yet. But, yeah. Uh... So now we want to talk, even though we already talked to them, you need to talk to every single Knight of Pluto for this next part. So I guess they really did. Whoa, really? You always have the latest news. Hey, I thought I told you to look for the princess. What are you doing here? Oh, Captain, it looks like Weemer got together with Barbara at the pub. Why do I have to hear this? I told you Nitwits to go search for the princess. At once, sir. <laughs> Poor Steiner, his job. <laughs> he got Barbara at the pub. <laughs> I just love that. That would yeah. be me. <laughs> that would be me, man. I'd, I'd be that dude, Weemer. <laughs> way to go, Weemer. What's this way? Is this something good this way? Uh, man, I think it's- no, it's just out into the, um, where the nobles are. Oh, that's right, we figured that out. Yeah, let's- let's watch the show ourselves. I no, we must go find the princess! Steiner's a little bit portly, ain't he? <laughs> just- just a little bit. No, he's a tin can. He's a tin can of- He's skinny underneath that. <laughs> so where are we- where are we going? We're going this way. Yeah. Yeah, so there are eight knights in total. We've already talked to two of them. So one of them is... This is the biggest pain in the butt. When you walk to the opposite end, he will actually... Um, hey, start God, running. Well, what you want to do is activate him and then go run back in the middle of the two. And then... Because once he gets to halfway to the other side, he'll decide if he wants to go all the way or go back. Mm. So just do it that way. Yes, sir. I'm looking, sir. Even though he says that, he's not looking until you tell him to. Which is a pain in the butt, but that's how it is. Mm -hmm. So this way is the kitchen! What's up, buddy? I love your hat, man. Like, his hat has eye holes in it. Hey, come on. So many fine dishes! And this is the royal kitchen! Let's get some grub. But I love this guy. <laughs> what What are you? Now is the time to your skill, boys! Must hurry! Okay, I don't know why it's tongue sticking out of his mouth like that, but it's probably very, very popular here in Alexandria. <laughs> very popular indeed. I don't know. You'd think that would violate some code, like health code or something like that. Huh. Like you have to wear like a. Maybe a cue's mouth is cleaner than a dog's. <laughs> <laughs> those, those things are called cues. We'll see a couple more in the game before we're done. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Mo Molinkadheim. Pudu Knight number. Nine. Ah, I'm so hungry. Wimps like you are the reason nobody relies on men in Alexandria. Bite the bullet, you worthless grub. <laughs> Go kill yourself, buddy. <laughs> Whatever, Captain. I'm so hungry. Yeah, he, he doesn't listen to us. We have no respect in Alexandria. Oh, no. No respect at all. But although I, I always thought maybe that Beatrix kind of respected him a little bit when mm. nobody else saw it. But we'll see more on that later, guys. Beatrix is a pretty wonderful character. Oh, you So is Steiner, that. but... Okay, so an, an, another knight's over here. Laudo. You see, I never wanted to be in the military. I just wanted to write fantasy novels. Captain, please, let me quit the Knights of Pluto. Nitwit, you just joined us. Now go find the princess, soldier. <laughs> These guys are so funny. You this, know, this is the fashion statement of Alexandria, I swear. <laughs> you know, the Globe of Gaia was presented by the late king in celebration of the birth of Princess Garnet. Fascinating. Will this help us find her at all? Come on, guys. They all look the same, too. The princess? No, she hasn't visited today. What's up, sir? Now where is that script for I want to be canary? 
And Prince is gone, it has. I want to be Canary. I want to be, I want to be, I want to be Canary. <laughs> That's right. You tell him, Justin. <laughs> to the right side, we got some more of these guys. Nothing too interesting. We haven't seen the princess today. Her Majesty ordered some texts about Eidolons, but we got a lot of books here, you know. Eidolons are very, very important, but we'll find out more about those later, too. A little bit of foreshadowing in this area. That yeah. picture of her on the wall is the weirdest thing ever. Like, she's with a cat, I guess, but she looks like a really fat version of the Joker. Yeah, you know she what does. I mean? She's like a really obese Joker who would like, eat babies, I swear. What? The place seems to be a hit. Talk a little bit But if we fail to find the princess before the curtain falls, Her Majesty will be most displeased. And we'll be the laughingstock of Beatrix and her retinue. I must hurry! It is another night down here. Hagen. Sitting here watching the water always brings peace to my soul. Care to have a seat, Captain? Now is not the time. By order of Her Majesty, we must go search for Princess Garnet. What? This calls for immediate action! Fair Princess, be not afraid! Hagen is on the trail! Feel my fury! I think he has slightly the wrong Dude, idea. I love that guy, though. He has passion, at He's least. hilarious. Okay, <laughs> so we, we got a soldier here on the job, or do we? Nobody has come this way either, sir. Now, why doesn't he have a name? <laughs> More about that later, guys. We know. More about that later. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, to the left. To the left, to the left, to the left, to the left, to the right, to the... What's up? Hey, this, this is the guy who got with Barbara <laughs> at the pub. Hey, let's go to Trino. Just the two of us. Hmm, let me think about it. You there! Stop that immediately! Go search for Princess Garnet! Yes, sir! At once, sir! Now we take his girl. <laughs> yeah, now, now we take his girl. <laughs> the Pluto Knights always ask me out. I don't know what to do anymore. She just... Forget them and come out to, to lunch with me, lady. Look at these metal shoes, man. I'm a boss. Look at this. I'm like, they're, they're like flippers. <laughs> Flipping every day. I'm hustling every day. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so up we go. We're almost done with this little portion of the game. And up, 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 up the stairs we go! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord of the Rings references are awesome. <laughs> Can't wait till we get to the tunnel. <laughs> What's up, buddy? b b right. right. I'm so tired. Oh, Captain Steiner, do you climb this tower for exercise too? No, no, no! I'm searching for Princess Garnet! Is the princess at the top of this tower or not? I want to reach the top, but at my age I get so short of breath! <laughs> so not helpful. By the way, Captain, have we all received the order? Of course! All knights will obey! Hmm, was there an extra one? Ah, so you've given, given orders to the double super sleuths, Bletskin and Cole, and also... Ah, oh, so you've given orders to our most inspirational writer, Laudo. And also, you've given orders to the most famous artillerist in the realm, Dojibon. Dojibon. Do Dojibon. And also, <laughs> I hate this part, so much worse. You've given orders to the only man who can name all the girls in town, Weimer. And also, oh, so you've given orders to the knight with the knack for navigating the neighborhood, Hagen. And also, ah, oh, so you've given orders to the winner of last year's cannonball race, Malinkaheim. What's a cannonball race? What is that? <laughs> I don't want to know. That doesn't sound good. It sounds That's my dangerous. captain. We get an elixir. Elixirs are freaking awesome in this game. Oh, yeah. Most games are pretty awesome, but... This was all HP and MP. Now, mega elixirs are the balls. They heal everyone's everything. Yeah. But uh, they're pretty good by themselves. Here we go, to the top of the tower. Let's see, this is the only place where Garnet can be. The last place. Is she here? Ooh, fatigue rears its ugly head. No, I must persevere. The princess must be found. Found <laughs> <laughs> on the other side. Wait, over there. The, it's Princess Garnet. <laughs> Being hounded by brigands. Fear not, princess, your knight is coming! <laughs> he's being like an Energizer Bunny, man. <laughs> I love that. He, he's got so much energy pent up. Oh, yeah. You know? Another amazing cutscene here. Man, she is a hottie, you gotta, oh, gotta yeah. say. 
Especially in that jumpsuit. Mm. Just smiles. White mages are, are always the chicks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler. Now he's like, I did not sign up for this. <laughs> like, uh <laughs> Geronimo! He was right after a man, Zidane. Anything you can do, I can do better. <laughs> you probably can too. And they land on a bounce house. He is super safe <laughs> yeah. after all. And Buzz Lightyear to the rescue! <laughs> <laughs> and he face plants right into a tower. He's got the grace of a, of a dead a, cow. A dead cow on roller skates. That's the best thing I could come <laughs> up with, guys. I apologize. We'll think of something later. All right, so down we go. Huh? Where'd the princess go? <laughs> ah! Ow! Wrong way. Now, how we consider it? <laughs> The entire play. You just messed up the entire play. I wonder what people think of us. Because they can see us running around the balcony. Probably chill. I mean, we can see out there. Well, why can't he, uh, the queen see her? I know. You know? Everyone should have been able to see us. Anyway, guys, that's all the time we have for episode two of Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. I hope you all enjoyed it. In the next one, we'll keep going. We'll catch that girl. It's the last thing we do. Where's the Dane? And we always get our woman. We got a monkey tail, man. Chicks dig the tail. Anyway, so until next time, this is Heretic Plus and Justin signing out. See you later, guys. Goodbye.